Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I'm just going to make sure that all this is working. It just takes a minute. So I came on a bit early just to make sure, just washed my hands and getting ready to go. So I'm just finishing setting up. I think we're good. I'm going to make mistakes. I can feel it. <laughs> it's one of those days. So I'll just wait till people get on and then we'll get started. Mm -mm. Episode three, episode three. Actually, I need to read this. All right. Um, also going to wait till exactly 1130. It's not quite there. Hello from Argentina. Awesome. Tell me where you guys are joining me from. Argentina. That's so exciting. I love, um, is it? Okay. So would it be warm there? Cold there? It would be warm there. Um, hello. <laughs> Ray, is that your name? Ray, am I saying it? Okay. So is it, hold on. I got one minute, one minute and we'll get started. I'm like ready to go. Oh, this is an easy recipe that I've picked out. So I think that that's what's helping. It was pretty easy to set up minus oh, all of the cleaning up, which just, it's so funny because like I can set you up to like you know, look at me like right here, but like, don't look at the rest of the kitchen. <laughs> um, it's like it's the secrets to the cooking shows. Um, so happy Valentine's Day. If you are in um, the US, it was Valentine's Day here yesterday in New Zealand. So let me know what you guys are doing to celebrate, if anything. I know it's just a much bigger holiday I don't know. Is it a holiday? Is it a Hallmark holiday? Is it a made up holiday in the US? Probably. Um, it's not really a thing here. Like it's mentioned, but there isn't like thousands of flowers you can buy or tons of pink and red things, knickknacks, whatever that you can buy in every store in the US. Um, oh gosh, someone's a cleanup day from the cyclone that's hit. So where are you? You probably have said, oh, okay. Rocky Plains. Okay. Um, so yeah, tell me how you've been hit. So if you don't know, Cyclone Gabriel is hitting um, New Zealand and specifically Auckland is struggling. The Coromandel, I haven't read, I read some articles early, early this morning. I'm an early riser, but I haven't recently. I'm okay. I'm in Wellington. It's been horrible winds and rains, but nothing like catastrophic. The the Hutt River is quite high, um, but that's about it. And the sun is out right now, so that's good for the show. I'm like, oh, because it has just been blowing and pouring and just really yucky rain, but it looks like it's clearing up. We're getting some sun, still rainy and whatever, but um, oh, your husband took you out for lunch and you had cinnamon rolls. Oh, okay. Does this Edmunds cookbook have cinnamon rolls? I'm sure it does, but they call them like scrolls, cinnamon scrolls. Or is the cinnamon scrolls different than the cinnamon rolls? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that you had it bad by the cyclone. I'm glad that you're okay. Like that's what you got to focus on. It gets so like overwhelming. Like um, if it like really hurts your house or you have flooding, I've my house has been flooded before. I don't wish that upon anybody. Uh, mine was flooded from the basement, which then backed up the sewer. So it was lovely water in my basement <laughs> and like, you know, everything they, okay. So in the U S like they don't really have basements here in New Zealand, but in the U S that you store everything in the basement and it's, you know, all your memories, everything got ruined. It was great. Um, but yeah, so, so sorry to hear that you're going through that. Um, so yeah, so Valentine's Day, but today is my husband's birthday, actually. He's turning 50. Um, oh yeah, there's a cake in the back. So we had a big party this weekend. So we haven't, I'm not like doing a lot today, but let me show you this cake. Mm, this is not something that I could make. Look at this. This is not something, she made me like three separate cakes. This is um, a local lady. Look at this. Look at this. Um, yeah, I should probably take it out of the box. Then you can see it because it has like macarons that are like perfect on there. 
Look at this. Okay, so just so you know, this was sitting out at a picnic all day, so it was perfect, and then I messed it up. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's um, her name is Embellished Food Art. Her name is Lorraine. She's amazing. I have I went to her house and like she had these like flowers. Okay, see, I'm already messing up. Okay, she had these flowers that look like real flowers by her table, but they're actually sugar. Like the I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like perfection. perfection. So embellish food art if you're in the area and you need a cake. Oh my gosh. So this was chocolate. She made, and also if you go on my Instagram, you can see all the pictures, a um, American size carrot cake. It was actually like a dark um, black forest carrot. It was, mm. and then um, she made a huge cookie. Do I have any more of that? Oh yeah, but it's quite, of, of the word, the number 50. And then it was just stunning. Anyway, go look at the pictures or it's probably on her Instagram as well. So hello from Tucson. Happy Valentine's day. Watching from Levin, watching from the Valley upper hut. Hi, Rob. Um, <laughs> oh yes. The cinnamon rolls in the U S mm, are you talking about Cinnabon? Cinnabon is like so sweet. Anyway, I got to stop talking. We got to cook today. We're going to make, um, yo-yos because I saw this in here and I'm like, yeah, that's what we're making. We're making something that's called yo-yos. So a lot of people requested that I made mel mel make melting moments, which um, I could have, but this is like melting moments, but it has a sweet custard flavor. So oh, you're going to want to watch this episode because it's going to be, good. I've never made these. I mean, how yo-yos do we like, Oh, I brought you some yo-yos. Okay. Sorry, it was my lighting. It's kind of going in now. It's just like, it's so bad. I have all the windows uncovered, but okay. So it's actually pretty easy. So we have to make the cookies and while they bake, we're going to make the filling of the yo-yos and they're going to have the sweet custard flavor, which I don't understand. And I'm excited to try that. So please, as per usual, this is a collaborative effort. So as I'm doing things, please let me know. You should do this. Um, okay. Uh, sorry, I'm just reading. Okay, I'll have to read the comments later. So I'm going to put, I put this down because this is so professional um, and show you what I'm making. So I have the butter. So it is actually a lot of butter, 175 grams of butter softened and then a fourth a cup of icing sugar. So not that much sugar. Um, and if you like my mm, apron today, it's like, it's like the country and then all of it. We'll look at it later. Anyway, I'm getting very distracted. And then I'm supposed to mix this cream it, and then add some vanilla. Um, how about, oh, okay, is this going to reach? Oh, okay, so this wasn't tested. Let me just move you guys with me. Here we go. Oops. It's not working. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. vanilla is going to help this. Do you guys measure your vanilla? I don't. Oh, that was maybe too much. I think it only called for a fourth of a teaspoon. Okay. So then... Here I am. Okay. So yeah, I probably put too much vanilla in, but Hey, who, you know, vanilla is the best. Okay. So then what I have is, um, a, one and a half cups of flour, and then we're going to add custard powder. Now I didn't put this in yet because I have never seen this before. I've seen it before, but I've never used it. I've seen it in the store. Uh, wait until the butter goes whitish. Oh, okay. So I'm going to have to cream that a little more. Okay. So custard powder is it, and it looks just like a powder. I've never used this. Does this like just make custard like really easy? Oh, looks like combined with sugar and some milk. Hmm. Okay. So we are going to do a fourth of a cup. There we go in that. And then this is supposed to be sifted together into this. 
And then do you think that I should cream it or should I just mix it with a, like a wooden spoon? What do you think? So I'm going to cream the sugar and butter a little bit longer, and then I will sift this in. And you guys make comments on whether I think I, I should use the electric mixer, mixer or just use my hand because I've never made it. I don't really know. Here we go. Okay, actually, um, don't think it's going to go white because there's very little sugar in there compared to butter. So I think that that's what we got. So let's do this, baby. So tell me if I should use the electric mixer on this or if you think. I should just mix it. I think I'll try to mix it by hand, but if it's like taking forever, then maybe we'll do something different. Is this how you guys sift? Or do you have one of those sifters? I used to have one, but they like break down, like when you're trying to wash them and then they get a little rusty somewhere and you're like, eh, you know what? I'm just doing that. Okay. All right. So let's just mix by hand to start and see where we're at. Um, let's see what people are saying. I use it wooden, wooden spoon. Okay, cool. Uh, this is my spoon that I use. Um, I think I've literally had this spoon for, uh, I don't know, 20 years. <laughs> it's from William Sonoma. Um, and it's literally the best. Like it doesn't go bad. It lasts forever. You, you know, you shouldn't really put wood in the dishwasher, but I do because I got four kids and that's what happens. Um, and it's still, it doesn't break. It doesn't break down. You know how many wooden spoons of New Zealand I've gone through? So many. Okay. This, do I have too much? Do I have too much flour in here? Look at this. Is this right? <laughs> okay. We're just going to keep mixing. Um, is this right? It seems quite crumbly. I'm going to actually put my hands in it. I have thoroughly washed my hands just so everybody knows, because I just feel like I can get a sense of like, is there enough liquid in here? Oh yeah, there is. I just need to uh, mix it a little bit because it's like supposed to come out like a dough, right? Because it says in, into a soft dough. It says sift flour and custard powder together and combined with the cream mixture to form a soft dough. Okay. Yeah. So there I'm getting the dough feeling. I'm just going to knead it a bit so that it combines. Um, okay. Well, I keep grabbing it, so that doesn't help. Okay. So then after this, it says you roll a teaspoonful of mixture into a ball and place on a prepared tray and press down with a fork. Okay. So let's see. This is looking okay. mixing much better. Love this. Looking much better. Okay, so then I have my, because my hands are already messy, let's move this over. Look at this movement. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So we have this and like teaspoon size, it says. So I'm just going to roll it in. Are those, I don't know. Is that the right size? Tell me, is that the right size? Um, um, I'll make them look kind of different sizes and then we'll see because I'm sure I'm going to have to make more than one batch. But I do want to get these in the oven because they have to sit for cook for 15. And then we can make the icing, the cream, the stuff. Okay, see, that one's a little bit bigger. I think these are the right size. What do you think? Yeah, these are the right size because it says teaspoonful. So it's telling me quite small. Um, and then, yeah, you bake for 15 to 20 minutes in a 180 oven, uh, which I have mine already preheated. So we are all set. Look at how prepared I am. It's like, this is my third episode and I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of how long prep takes and everything. Um, so definitely put in the chat what you like to see in episode four, because um, there's a lot to pick from in this, but try to think of recipes that I can do in a reasonable amount of time live. <laughs> like something that has to bake for an hour, not going to work. So um, we may have to do those kind of episodes differently. Okay, cool. Let me wash my hands. Okay, so here we go. Here are the yo-yos. 
And it says to take a fork and press down. So I'm going to do that. I have seen like melting moments and they look like this, like they were pressed with a fork. So I think this is right. Um, how flat that I don't know. Maybe I should be reading the comments. Oh, making one of the slices, bake a pav. Like how do I do a pav? Like that has to sit forever. Like, I guess I would have to make it ahead of time. That's really a lot for me. I got all these kids. Everything is crazy. Okay, look at this. I think this looks so good. Look, 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 look. I think it looks really good. So let's put it in the oven. Here. Here we go. All right. So like you know, if you know, if you've been watching, my oven's hot. So I'm only going to start with nine minutes. Guys, it's better to do that than to overcook it. So now that we are, those are baking, we can make, what is it called? Butter filling. Who doesn't love the sound of that? Butter filling. Um, ginger slices, ginger slice jelly. Ginger slice. I've never made that. I should make that. Um... Sorry, I'm just reading this. Okay. Oh, you grew up in an orchard. That's so cool. Okay, so here we go. Let's make the butter mixture. So what I have in here, I just started it. Um, 50 grams of softened butter. I have um, a half a cup of icing sugar and two tablespoons. Have I put the custard powder in there? Yes, I have. I have. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, and then one tablespoon of hot water, which, let me just turn my water on, to get it hot, um, which I haven't added. And then I think I'm just going to stir it. I don't know, maybe I should boil it. Okay, mm. right, almost there. Here we go. Maybe I should bring it over. Oh, I should bring it over. All right, here we go. Here we go. I think I'm going to nuke it a little bit just to make the, uh... Ooh, don't look in there. Don't, don't, don't look in there. Okay, nuke it for like five seconds just to soften the butter a bit more. There we go. Because, all right, so here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that worked good. That worked good. Oh, this looks right. This looks right. And then this is where you get your arm workout, right? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that looks good. I don't know that that's enough. Is that enough? Did I miss something? Okay, so what's your cold stamp with the butter filling? Okay, cool. This looks great. This is gonna. Yeah, that's probably enough. It's funny how this has way more sugar than the cookie does. I guess that makes sense. Frosting always does. Trying to get out all of the lumps. So I will continue to mix that as we chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need to get like professional things to hold this up. Okay, cool. Whew. All right. So the yo-yos are baking and the cream is ready. I'm just going to keep mixing it. I may have made the butter a little bit too soft, but it looks so pretty with the custard powder in it. I love it. Um, do you guys use custard powder a lot? Do we have this in the U.S.? I have no idea. It smells delicious. Okay. Um, okay, I missed something. You pressing one down on the tray? Okay, I did. You're giving me mother flashbacks. Okay, well, I guess that's okay. I am a mother. Um, okay, so it is windy in Wellington, but the sun has popped out and it's just glorious because it has just been so dreary. Where are you? Oh, yeah, I think we've already chatted. Um, ginger slices, bake a pab. Um, What kind of orchard did you grow up in? That's cool. So, yeah, so we're waiting on those. So, yeah. Oh, so I'm tired today. Do you feel tired? My car broke down. Okay, so it's been a week. My car broke down, like broke down, like not just break down, like died. Like engine done, 
need a new car. Oh, I hate cars. I hate buying cars. I hate thinking about cars. Do you guys like it? You, everybody seems to like it but me. I'm going to actually put this in the refrigerator because it puts the heart in a bit. I probably made the butter too soft. So yeah, I had to get a new car this weekend. I got a Mazda Premacy, which I actually really like. Um, I was going to go smaller because I'm getting rid of kids. But then those small cars just really feel really small. Like literally um, must be a go-to dance time while we're waiting. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about teaching some dance classes, dance for fitness in Lower Hut if you're in the area. Because I miss it and I love it and... Let's do it. I think it would be fun. It would just be like a huge party and it would be fun because I need to be doing that more. Um, yeah. So what was I just talking about? Oh yeah. So my car broke down. My daughter went back to university on Sunday. We had this huge 50th party for my husband. So I'm like, which means I'm doing everything. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm tired. So today I'm feeling a bit tired. So sorry if my energy is not, but we're not faking it here. We're not faking it, but it's been good. I've got a lot of work done, um, working on some videos for you guys. And <laughs> dancing is insane. Um, yes, sorry. Oh, he was pressing. Okay. Sorry, I'm just catching up on the chat. But yeah, so let's check the cookies. Oh my gosh, that's what you're saying. I missed pressing down one of them. See, I told you, I'm tired. That's my reason. Oh my gosh, see, look at how great this is. What would I do without you? I'd have one that looked, you know. So thank you for that. Um, Oh, you got an electric car. I totally considered electric car. Well, I can't afford like a new one. So then we look at used ones and you got to worry about the battery. And once the battery goes bad, it's like $8,000 and I haven't saved any money on gas. So it was just in my head too much. And I have too much going on to not have a car. So it was a little bit like that. So, but yeah, I would really like an electric car. How easy is this? I mean, especially with petrol prices. Okay, so should I cover this cake? Oh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's just so pretty. Let's sit it out today. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to eat that. Mm -hmm. Those macarons. So like, if you don't know, when I first moved here and was looking for a job and in the meantime, I cooked macarons for anybody who wanted to buy them. <laughs> they don't look like that. They tasted really good, but they were far from perfect. So I didn't charge a lot for them, but it was fun. People loved them. I mean, people would be like, are you making macarons? I need some. And I'm like, oh, okay. So it looks like I am. <laughs> um, oh, so you walk. That's nice. Um, I love walking. I live on top of a hill, so that's not happening. I walk down. Okay, so yeah. like, would it be bad if I just try the dough? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, Ooh. I love that custard flavor. Yeah, you watched my app shop video. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she is tall. She's only 5'8. She's 5'8. So 5'8. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I can taste that custard. I'm very excited about these um, and what they're going to look like. But uh, yeah, so let's see. Where are we with time? Oh, one minute. One minute for the nine minutes, so we'll have to see. So it might be more. Um, so if you guys don't know, you need to go and join my community. So on my website, just go on my website, kiwiamericans.com, and join my community. It's free. I'm trying to bring everybody from all my different social medias in one place and party there. It'll be a great way to connect and kind of dive deeper and talk about a lot of things and do some cool things. I have a cool challenge up there right now, so go check it out. Oh, there we go. Yep, two more for sure. So that's 11 minutes. Um, 
<clears throat> so go check that out. It's like if you go on my website, just a pop-up will come up and that's it. Um, so you just sign up for that. It's free and it's fun. I'm trying to just kind of put everybody in there and doing some fun things uh, because it's just starting to get to be like, I have a big community on YouTube, big, really big community on TikTok. I have a big, really fast growing on Instagram and they seem to be all different things. And then there's all the other ones and it's just like, oh my gosh. So let's all meet in one place um, and make it easier. And there's some really cool features of that. Anyway, I won't talk about that still. Yes, I watched the Super Bowl. Did you watch the Super Bowl? And who are you rooting for? Don't say rooting. In New Zealand, say cheering. Rooting means, yeah, sex, I think is what it means. Anyway, okay, let's look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So it's like we have the South Island, the North Island, and then all of kind of the famous things of New Zealand. So this is a nice gift. I got it as a gift, actually. Um, and I didn't use it forever because people wrote nice things and I just wanted to keep it. But then I thought, well, this is what it's supposed to be used for. Okay. So um, we have, yeah, jandals, power. So you can learn a lot of the, the slang and what they call things. I don't know. It's kind of cute. I'm sure you can get it at any of those like souvenir shops. Um, do I think that New Zealand ingredients like butter are better than the U.S.? Oh, my gosh. The New Zealand butter. And the New Zealand, like just the fruit, the produce, so good. Um, like, oh, it's so frustrating when I went back to the States and, like, I made guacamole and it was, what is this? Those avocados don't taste good, you know, but then some of the fruit was really good in the States. Um but like everything's smaller here and it's just delicious. It's very expensive, but, um, okay. Okay. Maybe two more, maybe two more. Um, very delicious. Um, but yeah, it's, it could be, you just need to buy in season and you'll be okay. But like even some of the in season as like, oof. but yeah, the, the, the produce here, like, yeah, like my kids just eat a lot more fruits and veggies, just I think because it tastes so good comparatively. And um, like the apples are so good. I remember coming like, oh, is this really the size of a chicken? <laughs> is this really the size of an apple? It's so small because um, it's not like puffed up with hormones or whatever. Um, I do not miss the U.S. coffee. Are you being serious, Joe? No, no. I went to Starbucks recently. Um, okay, funny story. I went to Starbucks last week because my daughter wanted some. And I went in there and some guys was like, oh, how's your channel going? And I was like, oh, you know, good. And he's like, I'm not actually from here. I'm just here for work. And it's funny that you're at Starbucks because I'm always talking about like how good the coffee is in New Zealand and how um, Starbucks is not good and not good here specifically. Um, and there I was at Starbucks doing exactly what I said I did. So that was funny. And he called me out. I loved it. So funny. I'm like, yeah, okay. But it's actually for my daughter, but here I am. I had something, I had something new that they had there. It was okay. It's too expensive. Um, egg, 10 eggs at countdown is $10. Really? Like 10, a dollar, that's a dollar an egg, everyone. Um, I haven't, um, you used to make, you used to make cakes and you can do those flowers. Oh my gosh. So yeah. So the ingredients here are really good. Um, I'm not a cake decorator and this is why I have to have Lorraine do it for me. Um, but okay, here we are. Saved by the bell. What am I even talking about? Okay. Ooh, they look good. I think they're done. Ooh, I think they're done. Have a look. Have a look. They look great. They're a little bit brown on the bottom. Let's see. I'm just going to lift one up um, so that you can see it. Uh, let's just use this one. Look at this. Look what I found in Opshop. Just kind of pushes out. Look at that. That's cool. Okay. <gasps> Ouch. Okay. Not going to do that. Okay. I'm just going to flip it over and you can see, like, look at how nice and perfect it's on the bottom. So you're supposed to let these cool. I'm just going to take, I'm going to take two really nice looking ones. 
they all look nice, but you know, some are more like sized correctly and let it cool for a minute. And then we'll put the cream on and then you can see what it's supposed to look like. So actually maybe I will just put this in the fridge so it cools quicker. Ah, don't drop it. Don't drop it. Ah, okay, I'm letting it cool in the fridge. Ooh, these look so nice. And so then I'm going to, well, I'm just gonna take these off of here and let this cool and put the rest of them on here. And then looks like, oh yeah, well I got that cake too. Man, there's just a lot of sugar in this house. So if you lived close, I'd give them to you <laughs> because well, what am I gonna do with all this? I'm not gonna eat it. Okay. Oh, I love that. Somebody just said, forget about making it look like perfection. Just make it look like it's made with love. Yes. Although this one, <laughs> this might be a good recipe to do with, um, so I'm just going to be rolling these balls with Christy. Although, do they have custard powder in the U.S.? Hello, U.S. people. Do they have this? I'm sure they do. I'm sure you can get it somewhere if not at like a baking place. Boom. So I really like working with this dough. It feels really nice and easy and soft. And yeah, so you definitely want to make it small because one cookie is going to be two of them together, right? So that makes sense. That's why you'd want to make it small. So if you've missed the other two episodes, I've made Afghans. They're chocolate biscuits with like like cornflakes in it, just so everybody understands what I'm saying. And then um, a lot of people commented that watched it. I had a lot of people watch it, um, say that I should make it with wheat bix. Have you ever made it with wheat bix? Because I was like, oh, that sounds. I love wheat bix. If you don't know what wheat bix are, hold on. Let me see if I have some. I should um, in the pantry. Let me show you in the pantry. Do I have any? Because I did just get from my kids. Oh, we're out of cereal, so it looks like we're out. Um, so I'm just making the rest of these and popping them in. Ooh, looks good. It's so funny. Like, how did I miss pushing down that one cookie? That's weird. Is it weird that I'm calling it cookie and not biscuit? Is that bothering you? Oh, well. I can only do me. I can only do me. I can't people please all day long. Sorry. Sorry about it, as my daughter would say. Yeah, so this isn't really making that much. So that's good because I already have a huge cake. Okay, so we're going to put this in. I'm just going to go with probably 11 minutes because this pan is, hold on. This pan is a bit hot. It's already quite hot. And so it will cook, you know. Oh, these are so pretty. Okay, cool. I think that they're ready. Let's put it together. Here it comes. Here I just I don't know why. I don't know why I got that. Let's do that on like like a nice plate. All right, here we go. Let's put it together. Bum bum bum. We have the cookies. And we have the cream. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. My makeshift everything. Oh yeah, it's quite cold off. It's a little, it's a tad warm, but we'll just do this. Um, so how much would you put in? Like, you kind of want to make it a little bit puffy. Put it in. Put it together. Oh, that looks amazing. I'm not going to eat it because, you know. Oh, that looks really nice. Okay, so maybe it's still a bit warm. Okay, it's too warm. Anyway, you get the idea. That's what you're supposed to do with the cookie. You're supposed to put it in the middle. Yeah, so this cream has um, is a lot better. So I just need to make sure that these completely cool. And I'm not going to make you sit around for that. So thank you for joining me on episode three of Cooking with Edmonds, the first collaborative baking show of all time. And I will see you guys next week. And let me know what you'd like me to make. Have a great day. Have a really good day.